what the hell is going on in your conference. Because the truth is that under Speaker McCarthy's weak leadership, this Republican majority is a total failure, an unmitigated disaster. Those aren't even my words. That's what one of your own members said on TV a few nights ago about the process playing out in this chamber right now. Some of your colleagues, Matt Gates, no, Matt Rosendale, called it a continuation of Nancy Pelosi's budget and Joe Biden's policies. Marjorie Taylor Greene says she's a no. The list goes on. What do you make of this mess right now? Well, it's an unmitigated disaster right now on the majority side. We, we, we Look, I'm, I'm fearful of what this leads to. The only way this slim House Republican majority can keep the lights on is if they get Senate Democrats and the president to agree. But they haven't even begun to reach across the aisle to negotiate because, uh, because they're busy negotiating amongst themselves. Hell, at this rate, they might not even be able to get Senate Republicans to agree, given how extreme their conference has become. Just to explain to folks who may be watching, this resolution does nothing, not a thing. It's a press release. Doesn't go to the Senate, doesn't go to the president. It does nothing. So we are doing that, and, uh, and, and, and we are doing nothing right now to avert a government shutdown. I mean, this place is becoming, you know, a chamber where we de debate trivial issues passionately and important ones not at all. And then we have a ridiculous bill about liquefied natural gas. The House has already passed this bill not once, but twice, but of course, it makes sense to waste more time passing it again when a shutdown uh, when a shutdown's looming and Republicans have no plan to keep the government running, right? This rule would also bring to the floor the Republicans Department of Defense Appropriations Bill. Yes, this bill has horrible, horrible, harmful policy writers that strip people's rights and push MAGA culture wars. It also reaffirms the Pentagon's bloated budget at a time when the far-right wing nuts are holding up all other appropriation bills because they feel they don't cut enough money for programs that help everyday Americans. And we still don't have a plan to fund the government. I know if some of my Republican colleagues had their way, we'd pass their continuing resolution that contains mindless, across-the-board spending cuts. My colleagues on the other side of the aisle want to cut funding for cancer research for Head Start programs, for air traffic safety, for border security, and a 65% cut to heating assistance for families just as it's starting to get cold. Talk about cruel. Now these cuts aren't just cuts, they cost us. Do people realize what Head Start does? It invests in kids from low-income families so they can have more opportunity in life. The return on investment is almost $10 for every $1 spent. Cancer research. Do Republicans realize that investing in cancer research now saves us health care costs, uh, uh, saves us health care costs just, not just now, but down the road? And it saves lives. Their appropriation agenda cuts all this and more. But you know where Republicans refuse to cut from? This bill. Uh, the Pentagon, the biggest, most expensive bureaucracy in our federal government, the Department of Defense. So for whatever reason, it's okay to cut programs like WIC that help feed preg pregnant moms, but they can't find a single weapon system where there's any waste. I mean, and, and I'm happy to provide uh, numerous articles and reports for my colleagues about the cost overruns in so many of these wasteful missile systems. The defense spending bill, which is the most extravagant defense spending bill ever, failed a rule vote on Tuesday because the Republican conference is in absolute chaos. Best I can tell, no one on the other side of the aisle has any objection to the top line number in the Pentagon bill, but yet they voted down the rule uh, just the other day. I know that whipping votes can be difficult, uh, but the number of backroom secret deals and late night seances Republicans have had to hold this year to revive bills from the dead is astounding. And I'm afraid things will only get worse as we near September 30th. Re Republicans are acting like the end of the fiscal year just snuck up on them. Newsflash, the deadline to fund the government isn't some big secret. They've had months 
to prevent a government shutdown. But the reality is that not once, not once, have Republicans given us a bill that can keep the government open. Republicans barely control one half of one branch of government. And yet, you know, they act like they're king of the hill, like it's their way or the highway, that nothing else matters. Madam Speaker, this majority is a failure. The clowns are running the circus. The day Speaker McCarthy handed his gavel over to the clown show, this was the inevitable outcome. But there is a different path that we can choose right here and right now. Work with Democrats to prevent a shutdown. Work with us to keep the government open. Work with us to honor the deal you made earlier this year. It is time for the ringmaster of this circus, Kevin McCarthy, to stand up to the clowns and say, enough with the extremism and the blackmail. Stop wasting time and work with us to get this done in a bipartisan way. And with that, I reserve my time.